Digi Wasp 2 Elite Controller. And this was sent out to me by Fly Digi, and I'm really appreciative of them for that. One email, a couple of stats, and they sent it out right to me. Now, I've been reviewing these Fly Digi and 8 Bit Do and iPega controllers for a little while now, and uh, they've all been two handed controllers. This is a one handed controller, it has a little TPU on the back of it. As you see, it's also shock resistant and it's been upgraded in a sense from the original wasp the packaging on this i have to tell you right now is much better i mean head over heels better than any of the other android controllers i've been testing out and i've got stacks of android controllers that have been sent out to me look at why uh this is premium from the outside design to the pouch that it comes with which has the black on top of black fly digi logo it's a nice zipper and once you pop it open it's nice and sturdy the layout of the controller and the accessories that it comes with is very very nice everything is branded the way it should be you get that premium feel with this controller which depending on where you get it from is somewhere between 35 to 50 dollars it comes with a usb-c to usb-a cord inside as well as some pamphlets that you better read because believe me this is not your typical controller unless you put it into x input but that's something we'll talk about later on inside the pamphlet it's going to give you all the instructions for what the uh for what the buttons do lb joystick b a and so forth uh, on the back you've got the lt the lock you've got the m button which is the extra button that they give you but you also have instructions on how to activate the controller and download the fly digi games app from the play store now focusing on the actual controller layout once you get it out of the case it's actually really really light i was surprised by all the videos and photos i had seen before i thought it had a little bit more heft to it especially when you prop in a heavier phone like the oneplus 7 pro which you won't see me playing in this video. Right here at the bottom, you'll see this little flap, which it wants you to plug in to debug the controller later on. But again, during setup, we'll go over that. But that's one of the features on this controller that makes it very different than the other ones that I've reviewed. Once you get it going, you want to pop the lock on the back. Make sure your phone fits into it. Now, the Moto X4 is a 5.2 inch phone. It's not a big phone. It's not a heavy phone. So it actually felt semi-decent with this. I actually feel like a 18x9 phone would feel better with this controller over a 16x9 phone. But I was still able to put it to X input and play it the way I wanted to. Now as you see here, I had to go into my Retro 8 settings to get it to work and map out the buttons directly to what I wanted them to do on the screen. They didn't automatically recognize. While turning on Bluetooth does recognize the controller, it's immediately put into Android mode as if you were playing a standard Android game and it wants you to mask and lay out the buttons custom-wise. I like to play emulators, so I had to go in and put it into classic mode, and then I was able to play. But as you see, it does present issues trying to play games with one hand. Um, these are not friendly for that. Mainly, this is what I play. I'm not a direct Android gamer. Um, you kind of see it there. I had to enable the on-screen controls, but once you enable on-screen controls, it disables off-screen controls, obviously. So no matter what I did, I couldn't win in my emulators this way and I got pretty frustrated in that mode and so I figured I'd use it the way it was intended to be used which was downloading the Fly Digi Game Center which is a well orchestrated app honestly they did really well with this app but 
again, it's not something that I would use, but you, the person who is going to get WASP2, would use this in this mode. See how it says allow to display over other apps? You have to enable these things because the Fly Digi was essentially made to not be detected as a controller once you're in games like PUBG or Call of Duty because as I've read and I've heard, you can get banned for such things. Again, I don't know how that works because I don't play those games. I am more of an emulator player. I wanna relive my glory days. But as you see here, I'm going through the instructions to press the on off button, which is on the side, simultaneously press LT and LB um, or L1 and L2. And then you have to wait for everything to sync up and do what it do. Now I got to 100%. That part was pretty easy. It was in the next phase that I kind of found some trouble. But I think it's because I initially started it off with X input mode. From here on out, I could not get this thing to sync. In the meantime, something to consider about the Fly Digi Wasp 2 is it is a much smaller control overall than something like the Bebenku Q75 or the Ipega 8093 or the Bebenku Q71 um, as you see here which are all two-handed controllers but the Fly Digi Wasp 2 is a much nicer looking controller than all of those as well it's just honestly not for me as I put it back into its packaging here I just want to assure you that I did get this to work but it was after I filmed the video after I was done putting away all my equipment and honestly, for me, if I was more of a PUBG or Call of Duty player, I would definitely use this controller. But I am not. Uh, I'm honestly not one of those users. So you are going to benefit from this in the way that I am going to give away this Wasp 2 controller. The way to win this Wasp 2 controller is going to be subscribe to the channel, like the video, and then leave a comment below telling me how and what game you would use this controller with. I'm interested in knowing what you want to use it for and what I didn't use it for. Besides all that, you can also follow me on social media at Ultimate Thorn on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And with all that being said, thank you for tuning in to Thorn Tech. I can't wait to see who wins this and see your comments down below. Live to win. Hey, really quickly, guys, I just wanted to make a post-editing video here. Um, I did get the Fly Digi Wasp 2 uh, to work with my OnePlus 7 Pro, which is what I film with. So in the video, I couldn't get it to work with the Moto X4, but I did get it to work properly with the OnePlus 7 Pro. Not only that, but I had to download PUBG and some of the games that really don't want you to use controllers. So that whole Fly Digi thing, and it basically allows you to remap the controller as if it was your fingers so that the publishers don't realize you're using a controller because you can be banned honestly those games are not my style which is why we're doing a giveaway i'm more of an emulator player so i like to play the old school nintendo super nintendo playstation psp games that i grew up with rather than downloading the newer games that require touch and you know they'll get you in trouble if you use a controller fuck that so um if you're one of those uh you know new school players who likes online gaming and all that then this one's for you like I said in the video, subscribe, like the video, and comment below when you're done. That way you can see more content. And if you want to hit the notification bell, do that too. I'm on the schedule to release about one video per week of tech and one video per week of just life in general and what's going on with Alex Thorne. My new website is up, IamThorne.com. There's some brand new news on there. I just got casted in a play here in Chicago called Mind Games set for February. Can't wait to talk to you guys more about it, give you some behind-the-scenes stuff with B-Side Productions that I'm working with. That being said, follow me on social media on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Ultimate Thorn and live to win.